Welcome back to Total 180, the Caribbean's first and only lifestyle channel for men. Boy, we are in some serious times. So serious that social distancing has become mandatory for our survival. Panic and pandemonium are widespread. People don't know what's going to happen next. But even with all of these challenges, I still see a silver lining behind this cloud. I believe that there are opportunities. I see opportunities. So today I'm going to share 10 social distancing opportunities that are available to us if we choose to take advantage of them. See you in a few. Number one, we have the opportunity to put everything in our lives in perspective and also become reacquainted with ourselves. Modern life puts us on a treadmill and oftentimes we get so distracted and busy that we, be, we fall out of sync with who we are. This is a time now to sit, think, have some conversation with ourselves and look at everything and, and strategize as to what our next move is. Number two, you have the opportunity to get in the best shape of your life. You know the excuse that everybody has, I'm too busy to work out, well now you have the time. And you know, habits usually are formed over 21 days. So in this period of time now, the aim is to cultivate a routine that will stay with you after this whole thing blows over, because it will blow over. We've, we've had pandemics before, we've had depressions before, but the world keeps turning. So work on your fitness now. Number three, you have the opportunity to improve your diet and your cooking skills in this time because a lot of times we're so busy on the treadmill of life that we just put a lot of garbage into our bodies. And you know the saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. So this is a time now where you can do some research and spend some time really putting a concerted effort into what you eat, especially now that immunity is an issue. You want to put the right foods into your body to boost your immune system. And when this blows over, this new and improved diet will stay with you. That's what we want. This whole period is about cultivating good habits for you. Number four, now is a time to look into investment opportunities. There are predictions that a recession is upon us. The markets are dipping. Some of the stocks are dipping. The best time to dive into the market is when it's down. Buy low, sell high. So, Take up your phone and call your investment advisor this week and have a discussion about investment opportunities. Opportunity number five, revisit one of your old business ideas or dreams that you wanted to bring to fruition. Employment is good, but you know what they say? Employment pays you to forget about your dreams. Revisit your dreams in this period of time. Look at them, analyze them. Could they come to fruition? What needs to be done? Look into that in this period. Number six, pick up a new skill or tool. We live in a time where the most skilled is the most marketable with the opportunity to be the most profitable. So go into your toolbox now and see what you could do, what problem you could solve with a skill and learn that skill. Maybe you could do an online course. Maybe you could learn a language. Think about it. Learn one new skill. Now, opportunity number seven to develop and cultivate a mindfulness practice. I'm not pushing mindfulness on you, but I believe in the powers of mindfulness. I think it gives you superpowers. And in a time now where you're going to be bombarded with negative emotions and fear and panic, this is a good time to center yourself and there's no better tool to center yourself than with mindfulness. Check it out. Opportunity number eight. To work on expressing gratitude. Sometimes we get so caught up in what we don't have and complaining about things as they are that we forget to express gratitude. Gratitude is the magnet that will attract abundance into your life. So get up every day and get into the habit of writing down 10 things that you're grateful for in your life at that moment and then put thank you, thank you and the reason why and then put thank you, thank you, thank you at the end of each one. Try that today. Do it every day and see if your life improves. And give me some feedback. Opportunity number nine. 
catch up on your reading. Remember the average CEO reads 52 books a year. How close are you to that target? And remember, if you're not into physical books, you have audiobooks, so you now have no excuse. Do some reading today. Opportunity number 10, to prioritize our spending. Now that we see chaos and pandemonium upon us and economic decline, a lot of us are just realizing that, boy, we've been blowing our money on foolishness. No judgment. So now is the time to really reevaluate our spending and to ensure that we are allocating our money towards things that are of value and not wasteful spending. Let's look into that, guys. Opportunity 11 to reconnect with old friends and loved ones that we've fallen out of touch with. Life is short and we're realizing how frail human existence is. So now is the time to reach out, reconnect, and share a word of encouragement, share some positivity in this time of uncertainty and fear. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our Total 180 YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, nothing changes if nothing changes. See you soon.